Alex Rodriguez has had his ups and downs as a Yankee. Experiencing both career highs and lows, the Yankee slugger has polarized fans since signing with the Pinstripes in 2004. In 2013, amidst allegations of steroid use, Rodriguez became more controversial than ever when his name appeared on a list of several big league hitters who received performance-enhancing supplements from a Florida clinic called Biogenesis of America. It has long been suspected that Rodriguez has used some form of banned supplement, and despite being named as a user in Jose Canseco's autobiography, Rodriguez strongly denied any wrongdoing. He even flat out denied any use during a 2007 interview. For the record, have you ever used steroids, human growth hormone, or any other performance enhancing substance? No. Have you ever been tempted to use any of those things? No. He did, however, later admit to using steroids between 2001 and 2003 in an interview with ESPN in 2009. Uh, I did, I did take a banned substance, and, um, you know, for that, uh, I'm very sorry and deeply regretful. You know, I, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry for that time. I'm sorry to my fans. Uh, I'm guilty for a lot of things. I'm guilty for being negligent, naive, uh, not asking all the right questions. On August 5th, 2013, Major League Baseball suspended A-Rod for a record 211 games, a decision he has since appealed. Many Yankees fans are tired of the saga and one-man show, which many see as a black eye for the storied franchise. While his suspension is pending, A-Rod is permitted to continue to play, a decision that has exposed number 13 to some not-so-friendly crowds. For now, A-Rod's future remains to be determined. If the ban is upheld, he will not play again in the MLB until 2015. A-Rod maintains that he will continue to be a Yankee, until a decision is passed down. Roger Richardson, NYFA News.